Namaste and hello, this is your Sanskrit instructor welcoming you back into lesson number 93. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning about a special type of verb in the middle voice and that special type of verb means to please or to appeal to. That verb, the verbal root for that in Sanskrit is ruch. This is usually conjugated in the first conjugation. So according to the rules of the first conjugation, the u in ruch, the u in ruch, this is actually the vowel sign u, but there is an exception in the r consonant where it's not written this way, but it's actually written this way in Sanskrit. For long oohs, the long oohs are even at the side as well. That's an exception. So anyhow, this oo gets is takes gurna and it becomes the o. That's how it ends up to be rochate when it is conjugated in the middle voice. Now, what is special about this verb is that the verb ruch governs the dative case of the person who is pleased, while the thing which is doing the pleasing, that is put in the nominative case. So we have three examples for you. So fight appeals to the hero is our first example, and that translation is yodham viraya rochate. So yodham is the thing that is doing the appealing. So this pleases. The hero is the one that is being pleased. And the appeals, that is just middle voice. So, since the fight is the thing that is doing the pleasing, that is going to be put in the nominative case. So, yodham is actually nominative singular. The reason why it is it ends in yodham is because this is a, mask, a neuter noun that ends in a. Viraya, since... The hero is the one that is being pleased. It's the person that is being pleased. This is going to be put, as the rule says, in the dative case. And since only one hero is being pleased, this is singular. Viraha becomes viraya. And then rochate is in the middle voice, third person, singular. So yodham viraya ruchate. Now for the next example, I'm going to give us a little bit more space. So in the next example, we have boys are fond of fruits. So we have to change the sentence around to say, so that we can know who is actually being um, appeased here. And what is the object that is doing the appeasing? So this sentence is changed to fruits appeal to the boys. So again, the boys here are being pleased. The fruits are the one that are doing the pleasing. So that's please, fruits are please. And then appeal again is going to be in the middle voice. So we have Palani Bale Bhyo Rochanti. So Palani is the one, is the thing that is doing the pleasing. So this is, and since it's more than one fruits, this is plural, nominative. Palam pale palani, this is neuter. And then we have 
the boys are being pleased. So that's why they are taking the dative plural case. It was originally bale pyaha, but when a visarg is preceded by and a, uh, and it's followed by a soft consonant, in this case it is ra, that visarg became an o. And then we have rochanti, which is third person plural in atmanepada or the middle voice. Okay, now our next example, we have travelers are, are f that should have said fond of water. So travelers are fond of water. So the travelers here again are being, the water is pleasing the travelers. So travelers are the ones that are being affected. So they are the people that are being pleased. So this should be in the dative plural form because they are pleased. They are the ones that are being pleased. The water is the one that is being do that is doing the pleasing. And then please is in the middle voice. So we have Jalam Patike Bhyo Rochate. So the reason why this is singular, third person is because water is singular, nominative, neuter. Water is the one that is doing the pleasing. So water pleases the travelers. And then the travelers are, again, dative, plural. This was originally Patike bhyaha, and when a visarg is preceded by an a uh and followed by a co soft consonant, and that soft consonant is ra, that visarg is going to change into an o. That's why it is patike bhyo instead of patike bhyaha. So, this is the gist of what happens to the verb ruch and how it is being used. And this is your Sanskrit instructor signing off with a namaste.